Nyawa, which is stand for Nature Yield and Wonders of Arts. This exhibition was held at Architecture and Art Design Faculty at Gallery Serdang of University Putra, Malaysia. This exhibition was about my corpse as an art. And hi, Doctor. I'm Nisha. And from this exhibition, I, I think that from this exhibition, I was able to gain something and improve my knowledge more about these microbes creatures. Especially, each of the presentation was such wonderful and excellent. Uh, the one that I think most interested for me is about the cauliflower leg, where it talks about the women's vagina. And along with the scary pictures of a patient that was infected by the human papilloma virus. And from this exhibition, I was able to know more about this disease and was trying to find a way on how to prevent it. And in conclusion, I think that all the ideas uh, from this exhibition was impressive and this exhibition should be held again for the next years. Hi, I am Putri. Art that piqued my interest the most is the alien combat. It is about the bacterial fish reproduction cycle. That drawing will make the learning process easier for the student. As for me, I learned the most throughout drawing the illustrated. So it taught me a whole new learning process. But even it is attractive, some of the arts did not display enough information. As we grow older, we need more we need more information on the microbes. So to me it should be more informative with the labeling and so on. But to conclude, this was an interesting, impressive exhibition and should be continued for the upcoming years. Hi, I'm Zati. I love to see Dr. Wan's art, which is about unmasking fascinating fungi. There are about 50,000 known species of fungi that have been identified with variety of colors and wonderful appearance. Dr. Wan showed some of the fungi by cross stitch. All of the cross stitch was so nice and looks real. There was also a exhibition about how a virus can cause cervix cancer, which is Topiloma virus. It is important to know, especially to women, for their health. For the conclusion, I can get new experience and gain more knowledge from the Nyawa exhibition. It is a creative way to show my groups as an art. Hi everyone, I'm Mashi. So I think Nyawa is a very a good idea to uh, to promote about the microbes and also uh, about the microbes in the art. At, uh, at the same time with the art, with the beautiful art. So the most inter uh, the most interested thing that I learned from my, uh, from the Nyawa, from Nyawa is about Ebola Ebola virus because I think the exhibition for the Ebola virus is very interesting because uh, uh, it shown that the, sh the real shape of the Ebola virus and of course. As we know, the Ebola virus still cannot be treated, uh, cannot be cured. So, uh, uh, from the exhibition, we know that it first appeared in 1976 in Congo and Sudan. So, uh, the origin of the virus is not known, uh, but it is thought to reside in bats. So, because the virus is a very small molecule that produces only a handful of proteins, so there are fewer uh, targets for treatments for the Ebola virus. And of course, it evolves quickly. Okay, that's all I think. Thank you. Um, hello, my name is Shah Datul Akila. Okay, I'll choose living bubble. Um, infected cell is almost like living bubble. These cells are infected because some virus has entered their membrane and leave it in and live in it. They will reproduce inside the cells. Um, these infected cells also induce another normal cells. Uh, to abnormal when it matches and active it will lyse the cells and spread throughout the human body this infected cell can cause cancer so this is, this is how virus works in human body so my opinion this exhibition is so useful thank you